going over tomorrow's operation again just to make sure everyone's on the same page. We've got to be sure everything's perfect. It feels like we're holding the Imperial Army's success or failure in our hands. It really does, but there's no way we're going to let them down. That's right, but it's going to take all of us in the Academy to pull it off. And now that you've paused to bring Crow back, I can't afford to give my part any less than my all. Same goes for me. It's going to be tough, but I know we can do this. Oh, Reen, there's something I wanted to ask you. Would you be willing to show me around your class dormitory later? Huh? What brought this on? <laughs> well, we are finally back in Trista, and I've always wanted to see what it was like inside, beyond where I leave the request, I mean. Can you blame me? You've lived there for a long time now, and tonight seems like the perfect time to see it. Well... Fine by me. I'll give you the grand tour. Really? <laughs> Thanks. I'll be there as soon as I get the chance. See you later. I think I'll head over to the dorm once I finish up everything else I want to do. So now heading to the dorm is the objective after meeting with Valmar. Alright, let's go to Valmar. I really wish I could change Toa back into her little casuals. I'll see if I can get on the ship again. No, I don't think there's any way to get back on the ship till I do that. If the outfit doesn't change, I got another option. Hey, Valimar. Hello, Reed. I came to see how you were holding up. Sure was a surprise when you offered, but thanks for volunteering to serve as a lookout. <laughs> Not a problem. Perhaps you and your friends have influenced me to some degree. Each and every one of you have come a long way to take this place back. I simply wish for you to be able to dedicate this evening to celebrating that achievement. Human and more human each day, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> Thanks. You know, looking back, I never figured the day would come when I'd be able to have a natural conversation with you like this. You've changed a lot in that regard. You've gone from sounding mechanical to dignified, I suppose. I've been working to gradually recover my memories over time. And while still fragmented, I am now able to recollect specific memories from my past. You know, I'm not going to be surprised if you tell me a little something something here. But I'm not going to say really? it because I, I already know he's going to... Okay, uh, no, I just, if I don't say it, someone's going to be like, Oh yeah, you're just, you're just saying you know that. What if Valamar was made by Emperor Dreykels? Does that mean you remember some of what happened before you went to sleep in the old schoolhouse? Correct. I went to sleep 250 years, 128 days ago. And my previous awakener was a man known as Dreykels Rice Arner. Well, maybe not made, but he was awakened by him, so close enough. Wow. So it really was Dreykels, huh? Yep, all those memories. I had my suspicions when I saw that memory in the last shrine, but I didn't want to assume. I believe you resonated with the memories that reside within the proving grounds. Dreykels visited the spirit shrines as you did, in each one. He obtained the same ore with which to forge his weapon, advanced upon the same capital, and it was there, with many allies at his side, that he laid the war to rest in one final confrontation. Man, Harin is just the next Dreykels. It's kind of eerie how similar our paths are, but it makes me feel a little self-conscious too, in a way. I doubt we're doing all this half as well as he did. What kind of person was he, anyway? Hmm. He was an open-minded, composed, and driven man, full of bravery and daring, and in some ways, an enigma. Yet for those he met, he was ever kind and merciful. He had dignity in measure with his stature, and still at times, one could see in his eyes the glimmer of a child's. <laughs> He was really something, wasn't he? Hearing you talk about him, I don't know if I could be anything like he was. But maybe if I were, I'd be able to do more for everyone. There is little need in striving to be something you are not. Huh? Since I awakened, I have watched over you. I have seen you grow as a person. Dragles found success in playing to his strengths. You, though different, possess strengths no less great. Just as he attracted his own supporters, so too have you gained those who would choose to stand by your side and no other. 
take pride of those who would become your sword. For not even kings can buy the world to be over. Uh. Wow. Thanks, Valimar. You're right. I should focus on improving myself as I am, rather than try to become someone I'm not. Seeing as how I'm fighting for my future and to bring home my friend, it wouldn't make sense to be anyone else, really. Oh, yeah. It sounds like the Tachi will be done by morning, so if you're up for it, I think we should test it out tomorrow. I'll be counting on you, Valimar. I shall do all within my power. Alright, now it's time to head to the dorm. Let's go. Wait, hold on! Because I said I must wait a moment. So, since the game wants to, you know, do what it wants to do, wants to take Toa out of her little outfit, I have a proposition. I remember wearing this most of the time through one until I got the other outfit. So, in a way, we're back to how we used to be. And she swaps back into her freaking other clothes, I swear. Well, I promise I meet Toa here. Should I head inside and wait already though? I think I'm kind of early. I seriously, like, watch her change her clothes, and I'm gonna be like, what? I just changed for a reason. Ah. <sighs> the old dormitory. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me here, Reen. Nah, uh, you didn't swap. And thank you for coming by. Guess you're all done with work? Yep. The other student council members said they don't mind splitting what's left between themselves. I wanted to stay longer, but it was hard for me to say no after they insisted I take the rest of the night off. <laughs> Can't blame them there. You've always been a workaholic. Sure is nice being back in here. I mean, I never lived with you guys, but I would drop by all the time to deliver your requests on free days. And you always had to do it so early in the morning, too. I can't count how many times you went out of your way for me. Well, while we're here, how about I give you a tour? I'm curious how things are upstairs, too. <laughs> Why not? lived in for the two and a half months he was here, huh? He lived with the rest of us in our dorm before that, but he seemed to have way more fun with all of you. I was a little jealous of him, to be honest. <laughs> really? If Crow was going to come back anywhere in Trista, it'd be here. What with how it connects all of you and even me, Angie, and George, I doubt there's anywhere in Erebonia he'd rather be. Yeah, you're right. I doubt he feels like he belongs while he's with the Alliance anyway. Which is why I fully intend to honor my promise to drag him back here. And I can't wait to see him graduate. <laughs> it really is amazing just how dependable you've become. When I first met you, I had no idea I would end up relying on you so much. Even after, I never thought you could handle it all. I suppose we both had weird first impressions of each other, didn't we? I'm not proud of it, but I totally didn't believe you were a second year when we first met. That being said, you were quick to prove me wrong. You're so capable and reliable. <laughs> Thanks. But there's something I want you to remember, Reen. 
like... I really do think you're amazing. And not just because of all you did at the Academy. You were chosen by Valimar. And you've gone through all kinds of scary experiences as a result. You've made a difference to the lives of so many. And you're surrounded by people who see you as their leader. But no matter what happens, no matter what you're up against, I don't want you to forget that you're only human like the rest of us. <sighs> I don't really believe there are natural-born heroes out there who are superior to everyone else. And I don't think you're an exception. So don't feel like you have to shoulder everyone's problems by yourself. We're all here with you if you need us. There's no shame in asking for help or relying on others if you need to. Wow. Um... Thank you for saying that. Really. Talking to you gives me a sense of ease in a way nothing else can. You're always willing to accept people for who they are, strengths, flaws, and all. I don't know about that. It was only because you were there to support me that I was able to start accepting myself for who I really am. That I was able to try and keep moving forward as I am instead of losing faith in myself. So, thank you. For everything. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. It's weird. Now more than ever, I feel so glad I was able to become Thor's student council president. If I hadn't, I might have never met you. And... I doubt I would have ever started feeling like this. Like... <sighs> Rain, can you kneel down for a minute? Huh? Um, like this? <sighs> Don't worry. I'm sure everything will work out just fine. We might not be heroes, but that's all the more reason we'll see this through to the end without giving up. And we'll do it without losing a single one of us along the way. <laughs> right. This is a sweet talk. See, why do people think it's snowing? No, I don't think that's snow. Maybe it is snow. I think it's snow. Why do people think I choose Toa here, huh? Why do you think I see her as like should be canon relationship? I'll make a video on that sometime. Oof! Oh god, it's going forward. Oh my god, the trophy is, you're a towable. Oh, I love this so much.
Is it our uniforms? If you gave us our summer uniforms as well, I'd like that. I'd wear that again over my actual normal outfit. Understood. <laughs> Don't you worry. We'll take good care of them. Just leave them to us. some bands on. Heck yeah. But it's not a student council band, so I'm not exactly 100% with it. Okay, Toa's wearing it with us, so that's fine. Kind of makes it easy a bit. I have a lot to wrap up. <laughs> 